It is said that some of the best products often come in some of the worst packaging, but we don't see why you shouldn't have both. And let's be honest, it's not so much about the box itself, but rather what's inside the box. And as you can tell by the sheer size of this beast in front of us here, there's plenty to be excited about with the 6 to 36 by 56 Theos first focal plane. I'm just going to put this off to the side and tilt it up here so you can see exactly what's inside the box. But essentially, a lot of the box is magnetic, so we open this up and the first thing you'll see is a little welcome note. Uh, saying welcome to the Element Optics family and a QR code. If you scan this QR code, uh, you'll be taken to the Theos webpage. And on the webpage, we've made sure to put as much um, supporting documents information as possible. So there's some downloadable PDFs. You can access the manual and reticle guide if you happen to lose these ones or if you're in the middle of nowhere. Um, you can watch videos on mounting instructions, um, how to talk down your rings properly, how to zero your scope and also watch overview videos on the actual scope itself and how the aperture ring works. So that's just there to make your life a little bit easier. Taking the foam cover off the top here, we get to the real, let's say, meat and potatoes. We've got the manual and reticle guide. The manual, I would really strongly recommend reading this through properly because the Theos is quite different to our other scopes in the way that some of the mechanical components work and you need to get to know how they work and how to set them. So read this through properly. You've got everything you need in here for mounting instructions, zeroing instructions, what the ap aperture ring does and explaining the units and all of that. And then obviously the reticle guide gives you more information about the APR 2D MRAD reticle on here and some of the sub tensions as well. So you might find that quite useful. We do include an element optics sticker, which you can just put wherever you want, put on the back of your truck or you can even put it on your um, on your scope itself if you want to, but stickers there. And then obviously everything else is laid out nicely here in these foam cutouts. The neoprene cover we include with our higher end scopes, the Nexus and Theos models, which are top of the range. And the reason we like to include this as opposed to flip caps is that neoprene cover tends to protect your whole scope better. Flip caps are great for just covering your lenses up, but the neoprene cover covers your turret, so if you, let's say for example, hiking up a mountain and there's a chance that you might slip and drop the, the scope on a rock, that could be the end of your hunt. This just provides that extra little bit of, of padding, even if you're just shooting off a bench or at a PRS match and you don't want your competitor to come past and play around with your, your, your turrets, this just um, covers things up and it looks pretty good too. I don't think I need to explain what a sunshade does, but we do include a sunshade with Theos and it is threaded on both sides. So in theory, you can add a second sunshade if you want to buy it as an aftermarket part and thread it on here. You can screw in Tenebrex flip caps or other aftermarket accessories. And of course, the aperturing that we include, which I'll get to in a moment, can thread on the end here if you want it. But most people will probably put it between the scope and the sunshade. Talking about accessories, there's a lot of small little bits and pieces that are included with the scope, so we've actually put them in a separate little box just to keep everything together. Open this box up. We'll take all this stuff out. Everything's in separate little Ziploc bags for your convenience. First thing you might see is a Allen key and a little replacement screw. These are for the throw lever that is already fitted to the scope when you buy it. If you don't want to use a throw lever, let's say your bolt throw gets in the way of it, you can take the throw lever out, you can take this replacement screw and screw it in using the Allen key. So this is a completely tool-free system. The only time you're gonna need this Allen key is if you wanna put the smaller replacement screw in. Another little goodie that we include is a cleaning cloth. This is on a carabiner, so you can put it on your keys or put it in your shooting bag or on a zip on one of your backpacks and you can pull out the, the actual cloth itself wipe down your lenses every now and again, make sure they're clean, and obviously there you go, Element Optics, nicely branded. Nice to have that with a scope. The CR2032 battery is for the illuminated reticle, but just a disclaimer, you may not receive this with your scope, and that basically comes down to shipping restrictions. So if that's the case, you may not receive this, but everything else should be there. As you know, the Theos has a capped windage turret, but if for whatever reason you don't want to use the cap on your turret, you want to leave it exposed. This is a thread protector ring. 
It threads over the threads where your windage turret would attach on and it basically protects them from dust or being bumped and damaged and just makes your windage turret look like it's not a capped windage, which I think is pretty cool. And lastly, the uh, aperture ring. Now, I won't go into detail explaining what this does and why we include this. Essentially, it decreases your objective diameter down to 40 millimeters. We've made an entirely separate video explaining how this works and the physics behind it. So we'll put the link down below if you want to check it out. But what you do need to know is that the aperture ring is, is threaded on both sides. So you can put it between your scope and the sunshade or between the scope and a flip cap, or you can put it on the end of your sunshade with a flip cap in front of it. It's totally up to you. It's very modular and uh, we think that this works really well with the scope. And lastly, the reason that we are all here, the scope itself. We'll take it out this plastic bag quickly. And the very first thing you'll see is the inspection tag, which is signed by the person who does the final inspection. This basically tells you that uh, the final test requirements that we've specified, which are very stringent, have been passed and uh, the scope is ready to go to you and that it's issue free. I don't know how well this color comes across in a video, but it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I think it goes along with pretty much everything, which was one of the things we really wanted to achieve when choosing a color other than black. And yeah, you're gonna have a great experience when you pick up the scope for the first time. Feel the turrets, feel how smooth everything is. It's, it's, a, it's truly worthy of being our flagship scope. The scope is of course covered by our platinum lifetime warranty. So if anything were to happen, uh, we've got you covered and that does not require any registration or paperwork. So it's a very, very simple process. Be sure to check out our product overview video, which I've linked down below if you want to learn about the scope in more detail. And of course, feel free to reach out to us over email or leave a comment down below if you have any more questions. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.